Um, so, I have things to talk about. Things and also stuff. So, if you're into things and stuff, come to the right place. So I started testosterone last Wednesday, which makes me now five days on tea. I can do maths. I went and made an appointment with my doctor and I went in and it turned out I didn't have to because the prescription was already waiting at the desk for me and I did not have to go and talk to him but you know good to catch up I guess. So I picked up my prescription, took it to my pharmacy and obviously they didn't have it because it's not an extremely common thing for people to want but it was fine because they said they could actually get it within three or four hours um, which is great. Uh, I don't know where they got it from but yeah, I'm not complaining. So in the meantime me and my mum went back and we watched the two towers and had mac and cheese. So it was really great to be honest, like that was fun. Anyway, so I got it here. I got uh, a box of Testo gel. It comes in these little sachets here. I've got to do uh, one every two days is what they've started me on, which is great. It doesn't smell as bad as I was expecting. Everyone was like, oh, it kind of smells and it feels really gross, but like it's not that bad. I really wouldn't worry about it. Uh, and also, one of the things I've, I've realised, which no one really mentioned, is the fact that because you have your gel there and you're in charge of doing it yourself, whereas I think for the first uh, year or so of injections you have to go in and get it done, uh, it's really hard to self-regulate because like, I have this whole box right here and I know they said one every two days, but the temptation to do one every day is very strong, but I'm not, I'm not doing it, don't worry. So here are the changes I've noticed. I'm just kidding. What other stuff has been going on? Mm. It's about halfway through semester two of uni. Still haven't done a room tour. Wow. My room is a complete mess. It has never been tidy. So I've had midterms. I've handed in two essays yesterday. And I have one more to do. Um, which I haven't even started yet, but it's fine. It's all fine. Uh, I've also talked to a couple of my friends and we found a flat to move into for next year. So that's really good, there's a lot of anxiety gone because I'm not good at like property. The Oscars were last night. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this, but when I'm filming it, the Oscars were last night. So that's great, I didn't watch them. Uh, Cause I'd actually only seen uh, like two of the movies. Uh, I'm really glad Moonlight won. I haven't seen it. I'm going to see it tonight actually. So we'll see what my thoughts are, but I'm glad it won. Cause it's like, it's an LGBT storyline. And more importantly, it's an LGBT storyline about a black man which it's like so rare to find films that fit like two different diversity categories. It's like you can either be gay and white or black and straight and like intersectionality exists. I don't know. I, I'm just happy about it. I think Moana should have won best song. I love how far I'll go. Uh, and I did enjoy La La Land, some parts of it. But at the same time, I don't think the music was as good as Moana. I don't. And like, La La Land had two songs nominated for best song, and even if I had to pick a song from La La Land, it wouldn't have been City of Stars. If I had to pick between the two, I would have picked Audition Song, but if I had to pick out of the whole movie, it would probably have been Another Day of Sun. I'm just saying. Oh, me and Jensen went to see Rent on Valentine's Day, uh, so that was good. Nothing says I love you. Like crying your eyes out at rent like oh my god I love the costuming I love the set they had this like it was a street light but it had fairy lights all around it and it was like a Christmas tree and they like climbed on it swung on it for Santa Fe and it was just ooh, Santa Fe if you've been watching my videos since like oh god 2013 2014 you'll know that I was obsessed with this little little big Broadway show called Newsies. They refilmed it professionally with the original cast and I cried. This video is just gonna be about how much I cry at musicals, isn't it? Uh, I should probably get going uh, and go to a linguistics lecture. I love it. Goodbye.